Hello. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use hierarchy and how to group objects in Clara.io. Let's create some few primitives and I want to group all these three so I can move them using a null. So you can just select all of them, right click on one of the objects and group. As soon as you do that, you can see that there is one null object. If you look at the same graph, you can see all of them are underneath one group, which you can select that one and then move it or rotate it, and all of them will follow that object. So as soon as you select one of these children, like this one, and right click and call ungroup, the group is going to get destroyed and all of your objects will going to be in the same position as they were, but not part of any group anymore. Now let's see how we can change the hierarchy of objects. As you can see in the scene graph, they are all shown in one list in the same uh, indentation. So if you select this sphere and drag and drop this in the scene explorer to the other one, it means I'm making this object to be child of this cylinder. So if I choose the box and drag and drop this into sphere, it means we have hierarchy of three objects from bottom to top. If I select box, I rotate this. If I select sphere, and if I rotate this, my child, which is the box, is going to also rotate with me. And if I choose the cylinder, and if I rotate this, all three objects will be rotated. So you can select one of them, move them, children will move. If you select this sphere, only the box will move, because here we have parent and child in this relation. If you decided to uh, unparent this box from this sphere, you just have to select the box from the scene graph and drag and drop into the objects which is not a physical object, but it's the root of all nodes in the uh, scene graph. So you can see that the box is not part of this hierarchy anymore, but it's still these two are in hierarchy. So if you choose any of these two and right click and group only these two, which means the parent of this group is going to be connected to this null object. So if you move them, only the hierarchy is going to move. At this time, for example, you can select this group. As you can see, group, cylinder, sphere. If you right click here, you have select children. If you select it, you're going to select all the children underneath the current node. Other tools that you can use, for example, you can select uh, the null, right click, and hide selection. So your null is invisible, but you still have access to that null from the scene graph. Also you can do the same thing from the scene graph. So if you right click and hide selection or show selection, if you click on show selection, it's going to appear in the viewport. You can isolate one object like this cylinder. Just right click and hide unselected. So now everything is hidden except the current selection. Again, right click here, show all, or you can do the same, right click on, on any of these nodes and right click, and you can see uh, the same features here. Also, you can use H key as a shortcut. As long as you press this one, you toggle current selection. So you can have multiple objects selected and click H. You can see as long as you don't release these nodes, you can press edge and go back to visibility that you wanted. The other thing that you can use, you can go to the edit menu, uh, excuse me, uh, go to view, mo view menu, visible, and you have also hide by category and show by category. So if you go there, you can say hide all nulls. So you don't have to select by one, uh, one by one. So you can just call all nulls and they're going to get uh, disappeared. So you can Right click whenever you want, like one of these 
those and show all so they're gonna appear again thank you for watching please subscribe like and leave your comments below